Way back in 1984, my father had signed me up for a subscription of something called Omni Magazine. And at that time, it had an audio tape, and it was called the First Audio Movie. I'll never forget when I first put that tape in, put my headphones on, and this deep resonating voice, it came from the stars, and the black velocities, and the shining movements, and the silent gulfs of space. It was a new ship. It had fire in its body, and men in its metal cells. Up until that point, and even till today, I'd never heard the words men and metal used together so creatively. And when you think about it, there are very few materials that present themselves quite as masculine as metal. There are actually metallic fragrances out there, and some of them are absolutely awesome to wear, to experience, and to have other people around you experience them as well. So that's the theme of today's video. Today we're talking about men and metal and seven fragrances that are perfect for everyday wear that have that whole metallic theme threaded throughout the fragrance. We've got that and more coming your way, so stay tuned. Yeah, Welcome back guys to today's video of metal and men. So today we're talking about fragrances that have a very metallic theme to them. What in fact is a metallic fragrance? Well, it's more really an experience and a theme when you think about it, because right now you can go pretty much anywhere and go up to something that's metal and put your nose on it and you're not really gonna smell anything. Metal is more a theme or an element or a texture or a feel, something to involve our other senses. And in fragrance, that's very much the case. So today we're taking a look at seven fragrances that have metal as their theme or an actual fragrant note that is metal or metallic. And kind of get into what these fragrances are good for and why they're excellent for everyday wear. I think you'll find it interesting that most of these fragrances have in their presentation some form of that metallic theme as well. In fact, the very first one that we're gonna talk about is from the designer Perry Ellis, and it is Perry Ellis Cobalt. And yes, cobalt is a color. It's this color here, it's, it's blue, but cobalt is actually metal or a metal. Metallic fragrances and metallic notes in fragrances present a kind of interesting juxtaposition because often they are paired with powdery notes like iris and metal or metallic notes go together really well. Uh, one is very hard, very cold. The other one is soft and sometimes warm. They complement one another and they definitely complement one another in Perry Ellis Cobalt. Uh, this opens with bergamot, mandarin, ginger. It's got clary sage. Fig is also an interesting note because when paired with certain fragrance notes and certain spices, like it is in here, it can kind of come across in that cool, almost minty, cool metallic. There's sandalwood, cognac barrel, cashmere, white musk, and patchouli in the base. Especially when you wear cobalt in cooler weather, it can come across really brisk, really bracing and sharp. It's got that metallic bite or tincture in the background. That is pretty much Perry Ellis Cobalt in a nutshell. Not for everyone. Definitely give this a try, but to me, it's one of the best kind of metallic, masculine Perry Ellis Cobalt. Super inexpensive too, so it's a great economical find for your metallic themed fragrances for everyday wear. The next fragrance of men and metal that's kind of got a metallic theme about it is a hidden gem. In my estimation, I'm really happy to be able to share this one with you. It's actually from Kenneth Cole, and it's a surprising little fragrance. One that I recommend running out and buying right now because it's a great price and it's perfect for this time of year. It is Kenneth Cole's Copper Black. Copper Black has some interesting notes, apple, ginger, mandarin, orange leaf in the open, cardamom, black leather, and bourbon whiskey in the heart. The base, you've got vanilla, guaiac wood, and tonka bean. That sounds great, doesn't it? Anything that's got black leather and bourbon whiskey and vanilla, guaiac wood in it sounds like a great fragrance. I'm actually wearing Copper Black as my scent of the day today. It's lightly sweet, very warm. It's got that boozy effect to it. There's a bit of a kind of a warm copper iron salt thing going on in the fragrance that is underlying that boozy and that sweet and that welcoming and that extremely accessible fragrance formula. There's something about it that is extremely pleasing for not only the person wearing, but for someone smelling it on you. It is a subtle, a little bit of a quiet compliment puller. I don't mean that it doesn't project, that it doesn't perform, because it does both of those things really well, but it's just on a 
more subtle scale. It's not a loud fragrance at all. Perfect for an everyday wear aesthetic, but specifically in cooler weather. Just like Periella's Cobalt, definitely a cheapy hidden gem. Nobody's talking about, very few people are wearing. So if you want to wear something unique, has that metallic theme threaded throughout, definitely check out Copper Black by Kenneth Cole. The next fragrance that has that metallic theme or has a metallic note in it, I've actually talked about it several times. So this is just kind of a re-up, a reminder that it's a great fragrance specifically for cooler weather. And let's talk a little bit about why it would have a note of metal in it, because that's actually a fragrant note. It is Paco Rabanne's Strong Me. Strong Me is probably the most pleasing and versatile fragrance in the Paw Collection. So if you're hedging on getting any one of them, start out with Strong Me. I think you'll be really pleased by the results. It's got plum liqueur, so it's boozy. It's got Divana, vanilla, amber, fire in its body, and men in its metal cells, or metal in its men cells. Along with the whole metallic kind of theme in that metallic looking pouch, it has a, the note of metal in it. What's so interesting about Strong Me, and, and, and I'm kind of smelling it, I sprayed it on my hand to kind of re-emphasize you know, my opinion of it in terms of the metal note, you don't get metal right away at all. You really have to wait on the dry down taken as a whole, especially with plum liqueur, with vanilla and amber. It's like something you'd get at Starbucks, you know? It's like one of those flavored coffees. It's warm, it's rich. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. But there's something at its edge, especially in the dry down, that gives it this cooling effect. That's the metal finally showing up in the base of the fragrance. Kind of the best of both worlds, you know? You've got that perfect warm fall-like autumnal fragrance and you've got this cool metallic theme in the bottom of the dry down again one of the best out of the collection strong me by Paco Rabanne the next metallic theme fragrance of metal and men is pretty obvious by the name itself it is a fragrance by Prada in the Luna Rosa line it is Prada Luna Rosa carbon obviously carbon carbon steel Carbon in this instance is going for the mineralic, but you can't have steel without minerals. Mineralic goes very quickly from crumbling rock into cool hard steel in carbon. This as a metallic theme is probably the most accessible in terms of everyday signature scent wear because it's extremely similar to another very popular fragrance and that is Dior Sauvage. This has often been termed the softer Sauvage because it doesn't have quite that very strong, very loud, very harsh amount of ambroxan or ambroxide in it. It's got just the right amount, I, I think. I think this is an extremely pleasant, like when I go out somewhere where I feel like I'm gonna be around a lot of people and I want something that I like wearing but also other people will be pleased to be around and to smell and to experience, this is the fragrance that I wear. Lunarosa Carbon does not disappoint. Bergamot zest, you've got pepper, patchouli, ambroxan, some resins, along with some mineral notes, some mineralic notes. Again, if you've ever smelled Dior Sauvage, then you kind of get an essence of what this is about. I like it actually a bit better than Sauvage. It, Sauvage feels like, you know, a five-year-old yanking at your shirt, wanting attention constantly when you're trying to do something else. It's cute at first, it gets very annoying over time. It's definitely a bit more wearable with still that compliment pulling factor that Dior Sauvage has. Prada Lunarosa Carbon is definitely the most versatile of our metallic themed fragrances because you can wear it at any time for pretty much any event, but it still maintains that very pleasing, lightly cool metallic theme. And interestingly enough, it's got that whole powdery contrast that's in the Lunarosa line. And especially in tandem with the mineralic notes, it's part of the theme. It comes across extremely masculine. The next metallic theme fragrance is one of my favorite from this designer and definitely one of the cheapest you're ever going to find. In terms of overall wearability, it's great. It's from the car manufacturer Jaguar, probably not surprisingly. Steel, cars, right? It is classic chromite. Chromite, of course, is a metal and metallic element, and in this fragrance, it's perfectly suited for a car brand fragrance, but it's extremely pleasant. The wearability of classic chromite might surprise you. It doesn't come across cheap at all, but it does contain some like fossil fuel elements, you know, things that you might smell, things that you might experience if you're around automobiles. Kind of a cool nod towards the brand. Green apple, mandarin orange, olibanum wood in the open, a little bit of fruit and wood in the open. That's not really what you get though in the overall experience. So the fragrance is basic heart, patchouli and cedar wood, but in the base, you've got some ambroxan, tonka bean absolute, you've got a praline note. It puts metallic fragrances on the radar for pleasant experiences, very wearable, very versatile. I can't think 
think of a scenario or a situation that this wouldn't be appropriate at a fraction of the cost of other fragrances and you've got that whole metallic masculine metallic theme to boot classic chromite by jaguar the next masculine metallic fragrance is actually from hermes and it's not a stretch to think of when you think of hot metal and linen which is kind of what it's comprised of and that is h24 H24 is an interesting fragrance. Initially, I wasn't really impressed with it, but you can't smell this without thinking of that whole metallic theme because that's really what it's made up of. There's a bit of clary sage, narcissus absolute, there's rosewood for wood, but there's something called sclerene that pretty much encompasses the entire formula. Sclerene is an aroma chemical that approximates, the easiest way I can describe it, is it approximates the smell of hot iron and linen together actually very clean very pleasant but slightly synthetic so it's not super unpleasant and if you want to smell like that it does a great job it comes across very metallic h24 is definitive proof that i would use to prove that the smell of metal is is masculine because it's very i don't want to say harsh but it's very one-sided very linear you know I, I do like the open of this it's got this nice soft almost fruity overlay that's a combination of the narcissus and the clary sage promoting the sclerene which is the in the dry down that overall hot iron linen smell so it sounds like something you might be interested in definitely try it first before you go all in in a bottle but again proof that steel is masculine is written into h24 the last metallic fragrance or metal theme fragrance that i want to bring your attention to is one from azaro and of course just like carbon it's written into the name it is azaro chrome now you could technically use any of the chrome flankers there are a ton of chrome flankers so if you like chrome aqua better probably a little bit better uh, or chrome legend or chrome pure or any of the the flankers you can use that in lieu of just your, your basic chrome. But the reason I'm going back to the original 1996 chrome, the idea behind it was something that's a little bit fancy, a little bit shiny, but also hard and utilitarian and something that you can use every day. That was the idea behind the fragrance. I think they captured it in the essence of the overall scent profile. And, and it actually has that whole light metallic tincture or vibe to it in the fragrance as well. Bergamot, grapefruit, and ginger in the open. You've got Hedione, musk, and the heart. A little bit of aniseed for spice. You've got amber, mate, which is tea. You've got uh, other precious woods in the base of the fragrance, some, some other woods. I really appreciate how chrome comes out of the bottle. Very zesty, very lemony, very fresh. So it's almost got this island freshness about it, this aquatic feel, but underlying that, which typically comes out in the dry down, is this cool, still, refined, serious, metallic sensation that lasts throughout the life of the, of the fragrance. That's a combination of lichen and tea in the woods in the background. This is a great performing fragrance, and again, another one that's perfect for an everyday wear signature scent, Chrome by Azaro. Well guys, that's it for my seven masculine metallic fragrances. Metal is an unusual theme and you're not gonna find a ton of fragrances out there that are metal-like or that promote metal in men's fragrance. There's just not a place for it. Metal doesn't smell, right? But metal as a theme, metal as an idea, as an experience that can be worked into a fragrance creatively is awesome. And these are the ones I feel that have done it successfully. If you have any of these fragrances, tell me what you like about it, what aspects of them that you like about them. And if you have any other fragrances that have metal as their theme or have a metallic note in them, let us know what those are in the comments below. Thanks so much though for stopping by, checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah,